We've had some pretty nice early spring weather in the 60s and even in the 70s, which has drawn out a few chippers from their dens. So when I see one, yeah, it's go time like this. Oh, yeah, that should prevent this guy from reproducing. If your pause game sucks, here's a freeze frame from the moment of impact. And from an educational perspective, you can see just how devastating these pellets truly are. Now, how much of that is because of the power of the gun? Well, that's a great segue into this. Today's quick fire review features the iconic HW95 Springer in 22 cal. And she's all dressed up in an exclusive USA only walnut stock. After removing the open sights, I paired it with the ATN Excite 4K Pro and the Eagle Vision mounts. So it's been a minute since I've shot a Springer, and I gotta be honest, I forgot how fun and simple these things are to shoot. And the HW95, it just oozes quality. From its precision engineered barrel to the reliable spring piston mechanism that gives it that ultra smooth cocking action, which this gun is known for. Its adjustable trigger is just the cherry on top of the quality build and feature set. In terms of power, it offers around 15 foot-pounds, which is perfect for taking down squirrels and rabbits in your backyard or just smashing some cans. Uh, I shot a bunch of different ammo through it, and it all shot really well, including my favorite pellets of all time, the ones that go boom from Egg Gun West. A Springer is a must-have, and with the HW95, you're getting one of the all-time best. I'll drop a link in the description for all the full details. Now, let's get back into the action. As I mentioned earlier, these pellets really dirty up the barrel, and this is the result when it gets really bad. Honestly, if I wasn't filming in slow-mo, I probably wouldn't have noticed it, and uh, I just would have thought it was a bad shot. But this guy made it about 15 feet away, so I took out the Steyr Pro X with the Thor 4 Thermal, because nothing can hide from that, and I put one into it right here just to make sure. But honestly, I think it was already dead. What I knew for sure was that barrel needed to be cleaned, so after I got that done, I need the recheck zero. I like using these archery targets as it's soft enough where the exploding pellets don't detonate until they're really inside and it's just way quieter. This was a quick and dirty zero with just a couple of shots. I hold on the point of aim and I adjusted the elevation and then windage. Sent the third one in there to confirm and good enough for government work as my old man used to say, or as I tell my kids, good enough for exploding pellets. You know, I was rushing that because it wasn't just two minutes later before this guy came down after all that, and we're going to test out that zero, and yep, that was a strike. You know, the guy's nerves actually locked up, and you'll see its claws just dig into this soft wood. When they hang like this, you really get a ton of blood, uh, but this guy dropped just before it started to flow, so I didn't have to uh, turn this into black and white so the YouTube police don't come after me. I'm still in slow-mo here, but bloop, plop, right down next to its buddy. You know, this pellet had an overflow of boom juice coming out, so I figured this was going to spiral a bit. But wow, look at how this thing just detonated after the penetration. Look what happens. Oh, look at all that fur everywhere. And all that smoke just keeps coming out. That's wild. It's probably what you want, honestly, is for it to penetrate a little bit and then explode. But, I mean, just look at that. It was like a cloud of fur. You know, most of this channel is about being kind of backyard stealthy. These exploding pellets are the exact opposite. Just listen to the impact of this. Yeah, you're not going to, uh, you're definitely not going to mask that. I would say for me, these are definitely for special occasions, like, you know, maybe the 4th of July, uh, where the ambient noises uh, will blend in a little bit better with what these things are able to produce. Brian called for Meg Gun West while I was filming this to let me know that 9mm exploding pellets were coming. They're actually slugs. 
Uh, and then a whole bunch of other types were coming as well. One's called the Frag, which the design does exactly what you think it does. It, well, that's what I'm told. So we're going to have to test. I don't know why they skipped 762, uh, but I know they're coming eventually. But for some reason, they went from 25 right to 9 mil and then all these other ones uh, in different sizes. But nonetheless, I think I'm going to give my neighbors a little break or at least their ears a break for a few weeks while I wait for those to arrive. Until then... Here's the last shot with that HW95. If you enjoyed that clip, you should click this video to watch the full story.